Well, what's up again there, guys? Brian here, the three top skim hitters here for you. The first of, I'm sure, many tier list style videos that I'll be sharing for you over the course of 2024. This one's a pretty interesting one because I'm surprised I haven't done it before, but I just thought just out of the blue, it'd be nice to do a tier list style ranking of just the majority of video game based movies and there have been quite a lot of them since the 90s which i do believe mario is probably the first one and there's been several since and for the longest time they had like the worst reputation but i think now i would say video game based movies and video game based tv shows are in a much better spot than they were before so if you do happen to enjoy this video by the end please do not forget to like share and subscribe keep track being on my future videos and remember if you guys have any ideas for future videos or just topics in general for future rankings or just tier list fills let me know in the comments down below and i will try to get them up as soon as i can so as we jump into this particular list video that i actually found online uh I gotta say, there's actually a pretty wide variety of films. In fact, there's even a few films on here that I actually had don't even, didn't even know existed. So, yeah. But I think the first thing we need to do is just kind of get rid of the ones that I either I don't know what this is or I know I've never watched. So let's just go down the list. All right. On right from the beginning, one thing people need to know about video game based movies. You stay away from Uwe Boll films, and I mean all of them. So I didn't watch any of them. So movies like Alone in the Dark, and Blood Rain, and Far Cry. I think Fall Night at Freddy's. I I I think they came out. That's not an Uwe Boll film, but I I know they came out last year, but I didn't see it. I don't even know what this is. House of the Dead, A Name of the King, Jason Statham must have been desperate in his early career. Uh, I'm not a Monster Hunter fan. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? Postal? I don't even know what that is. Um, I think, is that Primal Rampage or something with The Rock? I didn't see that. Uh, let's see, what else? I, I did not see Angry Birds. I'm not an Angry Bird fan. Or, the, I didn't even know they made two Angry Bird films. That's, that's, that's crazy. Uh, anything else? Uh... Werewolf Within. I, is that a game? or? Okay, I don't even know what this is. I don't even know they made a second Doom film. Don't know what that... I mean, it's Mario, but some, I'm assuming it's from Japan. Uh, did not see that. Did not see that. Did not see that. I think that's about it. Uh, I do want to apologize. This list isn't really starting off quite great because <laughs> almost half the things on here I've not actually seen. So, uh, okay, but... I think that'll about do. So let's actually get started in the actual list. So first, Assassin's Creed. Um, forgettable. I mean, it, was, it had a few moments, but it 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 was it was a stupid concept. I mean, you had Michael Fassbender's character kind of on this pole, and he was like envisioning that he was traveling instead of just doing it all in his head, like we have in the game. So okay, uh, dead or alive. Uh, this was pretty bad. It was very cheap looking. It was very, very bad. Um, yeah, that was just not a good movie. Doom, the act first one. Um, I actually think this was okay. It wasn't anything special. I actually saw this in theaters with my dad. Um, however, I think everyone only remembers this because it had the whole first person section, which was cool and weird and if you actually got the dvd which i unfortunately do have they actually have like a whole section dedicated to that one section so it was clear that that first person perspective scene was like the highlight of the film i mean it had the rock and called urban and it, it was a weird concept they took it in a complete weird direction i mean okay they added this whole element of like having a like a 24th chromosome and i don't know why they did that i mean why not just stick with the traditional story of do you go to mars a portal to hell opens up and you're just killing some demons i mean what what the hell is this 24th chromosomes thing it was, it's just not necessary uh double dragon very forgettable. I think I saw this maybe once as a kid. I think Double Dragon as a franchise itself was kind of forgettable, but yeah. Uh, Hitman, the first one. I actually think the first one was okay. It had a couple of cool moments, but I'm not a Hitman fan personally, but I just thought the movie was just okay. Uh, the first Tomb Raider film, I saw this also in theaters. I th thought it was 
okay. Um, but again, this was at the time I was not a Tomb Raider fan, so yeah. Um, then they did the 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 second Tomb Raider film, uh, The Cradle of Life. Um, I saw this once, but I I didn't really care much for it. Um, I didn't think this franchise could really go anywhere, so it, I thought it was just kind of forgettable. Street Fighter: The Legend of Chun Li. Dear God, were these people? What drug were these people on? That movie was just trash. I would say it was worse than Dead or Alive. And I'm, I'm, I'm not really a Street Fighter fan. I'm a Mortal Kombat fan. But like, jeez, Max Payne. Um, I did see this. Marky Mark. It's kind of forgettable. I will say the trailer was really cool. Um, if you get a chance, check out the trailer from 2008. It's actually, even by today's standards, it's really cool. Um, <laughs> but the movie, not, not so much. Uh, Mortal Kombat, the most recent one. I'm conflicted about this one because I, I did enjoy it, but it, sh it should have been great. You know, I'll put it in enjoy it. Um, Yeah. They 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 added some elements of that I really didn't like. I don't like the Cole Young character. I really hope his role is seriously reduced in the next one because I know they're filming it now. But yeah, you know what? I, I'll say yeah. Enjoy. Okay. Um, more combat annihilation. Okay. I know it's awful. It's bad. It. But it's kind of almost enjoyable. <laughs> So I'll put it in just okay, even though it's it, it's god awful film, no question, god awful. But yeah, I, I I can't just bring myself just to put it in awful because I've seen it more times than any of the other films on this list so far, including including the most recent Mortal Kombat. I, I have seen Mortal Kombat Annihilation a number of times. Me and my brother used to watch it a lot when we were kids. Um, but we do have the GOAT of video game based movies in the form of the original 95 Mortal Kombat. That is, I love that film. It is still to this day my favorite video game based movie of all time. Still to this day. I still love it. Watch it at least a couple times a year. Need for Speed. Um, I only saw this movie once in theaters. Um, I think it was just kind of okay. Nothing special, but... It, it was like a it was like a low down version of, of Need for Speed, Detective Pikachu. I also thought this was just kind of okay, nothing crazy. Prince of Persia. A lot of people forget about this film. I, I really like this film a lot. It was it was great. Um, outside of the whitewashing, <laughs> um, yeah, I you guys really you you guys really need to go back and check this film. It was actually really really good. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, I also really enjoyed that film. It was a bit odd how they released the game. So they they released a video game based off the game, and then they made a game based off the movie based off the game. So that was a weird kind of series of connections. But yeah, uh, Resident Evil Afterlife, forgettable. Apocalypse. I actually enjoyed. Um, yeah, I actually think I I would say the first two Resident Evil films are actually okay. Um, Extinction, forgettable. I don't even know what that one is. Forgettable. I didn't watch all of them, but the first Resident Evil film I actually think was actually really good. Um, I liked the direction that they went. It was it, it had a lot of original ideas. It very much felt like it could take place in the Resident Evil world, and it wasn't too crazy. It was pretty simple. They even added the the whole laser room section. That's an element that was done in the movies that they added in the games. So that tells you that they had some really great ideas that they used. So yeah, I, I'll, I'll continue to defend that film. Silent Hill, um, eh, kind of forgettable. I'm not really a Silent Hill fan of either film, so. And they, they, you can just put them wherever you want. Oh, Super Mario Brothers. You know what? I know it's awful. And it's more of a guilty pleasure. But damn it, I like it. <laughs> I like this movie. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> it had a terrible production. <laughs> if you know the history of this film. It's, it's awful. It's messed up. But damn it, I love it. <laughs> All right, uh, Sonic Two. Um, you know what? I actually love. I actually love both Sonic films. They were surprisingly.
fun films. I've seen multiple times. I cannot wait to see what they do in the third Sonic film, which comes out later this year. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Street Fighter. Um... I'll put Street Fighter in just okay. It's campy, yeah, but it has some moments. Tekken. Tekken is for amateurs who can't be good at Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, but I thought the film was just okay. Um, it's okay. Uh, Super Mario, Mario Brothers movie. Uh, this was actually a really good movie. It was very good. Um... Put it in between, but it was it was a lot better than I had anticipated, and I do believe to this day it's still the highest grossing video game based movie of all time. It made a billion dollars, which you know I'm not surprised it was Marvel that was the first one to do that. But yeah, uh, most recent Tomb Raider. This was very forgettable. It was the most probably the most forgettable one of all the Tomb Raider films that they've made, and I didn't really like how they tried to base it off the rebooted version of Tomb Raider because that was the one that I I'm a big fan of. But the film was it had, it just had no original ideas of, it, of its own. Uncharted is awful. <laughs> it should never have been made. I don't know what they were thinking. It's just casting was wrong. The film was wrong. It shouldn't exist. I hate this movie. Uh, Warcraft, um, I think Warcraft was okay, um, I think it was a box office bomb, but I, I did think it was okay. Resident Evil whatever was awful. <laughs> Easily, the, it was the worst Resident Evil film of all time, way worse than any of the Paul W.S. Anderson films, without question. Wing Commander, uh, I it's just kind of forgettable, it wasn't great at the time and it wasn't great now. Down, Dead Space Downfall. I actually really enjoy this film. Even though it's animated, it didn't go to theaters. And I also like its sequel in the form of After Aftermath, which is pretty good. I'm not sure, you know, I don't... Mewtwo Return, I don't think that can count. I don't, think, I don't even know why it's on this list, but I, I would have said it's, it's okay. I mean, I'm not sure we can put Pokemon. Maybe we'll do a Pokemon one later. And this is like Sonic, which, you know, I think Sonic is you know, it's always enjoyable. And then Street Fighter 2 animated film. This is a great film. It is awesome. As an uh, probably the best thing Street Fighter ever did. I mean, I'm a Mortal Kombat fan, but like when Street Fighter gets something very, very good, I have to give it credit for it. And that film was very, very great. So that is my ranking of all of these video game based movies that were on this particular list. Now, if you want to give it a shot, feel free to do your own ranking and share it with me and everyone else in the comments down below. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and I will see you all next time.